Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in today's video I'll be discussing what I thought of that awesome and fantastic looking teaser trailer we got for the upcoming new Star Wars show Ahsoka which dropped made its grand debut today and it dropped earlier today at Star Wars Celebration 2023 and jolly old England I think it's in England isn't it in London yeah I'm pretty sure it is anyway regardless of where it is Star Wars Celebration is happening this weekend it began today a lot of really exciting interesting announcements uh as well in addition to the teaser trailer being dropped so we got our first real look at the hotly anticipated new series. I don't know if it's meant to be an ongoing series like The Mandalorian or if it's a limited series type of deal. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, I'm here for it. So let's talk about it, shall we? First and foremost, it is so great to see so many uh, beloved characters back once again and this time looking as beautiful as ever in live action. I'm not talking about Ahsoka. Ahsoka does look fantastic, but she's already had her live action debut back in season two of Mandalorian. I'm talking about Sabine Wren, Hera Syndulla, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh my god. Obviously we didn't see his face. We saw the back of his head. It is clearly him. Obviously him from the white uniform and the blue hair and the blue skin. That is definitely Thrawn. We even got a glimpse of hollow image of Ezra, I believe. So great to see so many beloved characters making their live action debut in what I'm sure is going to be an excellent series from the brilliant masterminds that are Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau because these guys have been killing it lately with Star Wars. I wish they were running the whole universe, but hey, you know what? They're handling the best properties right now. That's all that matters. So keep at it, gentlemen, because uh, wow. So, and that's how I felt while watching this teaser trailer. Wow, this looks and feels like Star Wars to me. You know, I love that they're continuing over uh, story possible storylines from Rebels. It was great to see Mon Mothma again. We saw her in a hollow image as well. That was pretty exciting. Chopper, the little droid as well. Great to see Chopper again. Hopefully uh, we see Zeb appear in this show. It seems likely considering he just had his live action debut in The Mandalorian. So seems pretty likely that he'll appear there, right? I sure hope so. Looks like Ahsoka is going to be going up against a lot with new, with old allies, with new allies, with old enemies, new enemies. A couple of uh, force wielders in this uh, teaser trailer, people I did not recognize. I recognized one of the actors, Ray Stevenson, playing the gray bearded Sith looking dude, or maybe he's just a force wielder who happens to have a red or an orange sword. I don't know. The young woman, uh, she, you know, coming at the Imperials, did not recognize her. Is she a possible former or a current Sith or a former Inquisitor? Who knows? We'll have to watch to find out. But this teaser trailer was very exciting, and it's got me... All, I was already excited for this show. Now even more so seeing some of our beloved characters from Rebels finally making their live-action debut is just icing on the cake. And... Um, Unfortunately, we did not get an exact premiere date. However, we do know that it is coming August of this year. So we will probably get one more trailer for the show in the next couple of months, right before the show has its big premiere on Disney Plus in August. We don't know how many episodes it will be yet, but what we do know is that it is coming in August. So mark your calendars, everybody. That's when the show is coming. No exact premiere date yet, but I will let you guys know as soon as I know for sure as well. Oh man, I'm excited for this. This looks like it's going to be a fun, exciting TV show with some amazing beloved characters whom we've all come to love and adore over the years. And there's no one I trust better than Favreau and Filoni to do it. So may the force be with you, gentlemen. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Star Wars Celebration is ongoing this weekend. Don't know if we'll get any more announcements or trailers for anything else, but if we do get anything good, I'll try to let you know about it. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great holiday weekend. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.